I wanted to die. It was sophomore year of high school, and I still remember writing the poems in what I thought would be the final letter. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a jarring start. It really sets the stage for what I want to talk about today is the power of writing, but more or less not just the power of writing, because I think there's many other better people to talk about it, but rather talk about this idea of marketing as writing or marketing equal writing. As I think about this or as I've thought about it, I can't help but see how marketing and writing are interlinked in that they both have such ties. As I mentioned earlier, I've used writing to get through many things through life whether it was that period in sophomore year or many others, which I'll share shortly, writing is so powerful as a tool to grow. And I'm making the premise that if you want to be a better marketer, if you want to do better marketing, you should write more. Before we get into that, run the intro. Welcome to season three of On Marketing, the show where we explore what marketing is, like really is. I won't tell you what to think, I'll help you improve how you think about marketing. It's September 15th, 2024. I'm Jordan Ogrant, a marketing strategist by day and a podcast host by night. Before we get into the episode, please subscribe to my newsletter, and you can do that at the first line of the show notes to get new episodes, extra insights, and the occasional photo of my cat. It's fittingly called a newsletter on marketing. Finally, all opinions shared in this podcast are the individual views of the host and guests, not those of their employers or associated organizations. This content is intended for informational purposes and should not be considered professional marketing guidance. Listeners act on the information provided at their own risk. I hate that I have to do that, but it pleases the legal team. Thanks for being here. Before I get into more of why marketing is writing, let me take you all the way back to my journey with writing. I remember vividly early on in my life, maybe around fourth or fifth grade, I wrote stories and I would sell those to family members. I don't think I was entrepreneurial, such a fun word to say, but I think I just realized that writing was something that I enjoyed to do. I was semi good at it and I could then get paid to do it or somewhat paid to do it. I only have so much family to sell it to. But the important part was is that I quickly realized on early on that it was a great way to express myself or to share my ideas and my thoughts. And then as I grew up, went through high school, the ups and downs, as I mentioned at the start, I found a ton of solace in journaling writing poems and writing stories. So for me, writing has always been this powerful force in my life. I know that's not everybody's story. I know that's not your journey because it's my journey. So for me to share that, I just want you to know I have obviously a heavy bias towards writing because it's been such a life changer for me, whether personally and professionally. And that's what I want to get in today because it was around 2020, 2021 that I started a daily newsletter. And from doing that for a year and a half, I got so much better at not only writing emails and subject lines, but writing content in a way that could bring value quickly or being more succinct. And that I think is a power of writing is it gets you more refined with your thinking. And then after that, daily newsletter, I jumped to a weekly newsletter that I've been doing, as I mentioned in the intro, for a bit now, uh, around a year and a quarter, a year and a few months. So that is how I've expressed myself and I've shared all this online. That also doesn't need to be your path. I write and I share online. That doesn't need to be the way you do it, but I just think everybody needs to write. You just need to write. Whether it's online, it's in a book, it's somewhere, it helps you further your thoughts. And before I keep teasing it, Let me pull myself back. And now I'm writing more long form articles and even eventually books. So that is how writing currently lives in my life. Now, the first main idea that I want to share is kind of baked into an equation. And I know if there's anybody that's really good with math, I know this isn't how you're supposed to do it, but just stick with me. I believe that marketing is thinking. To do good marketing, you have to think well. Yes, you need to be able to edit a video. You need to be able to write, no pun intended but you just need to be able to think of how to do that campaign, how to position the company. So much of marketing revolves around thinking. Writing is thinking as well. The more you write, the better you think. The more you think, contemplate, meditate, the better you write. It's a symbiotic, I think that's a word, relationship where they each feed each other. So if both of them, if marketing equals thinking, if writing equals thinking, then we could make the logical jump that writing Marketing equals writing and writing equals marketing. I hope you're seeing that with me. I don't have any diagram here, but that is how my mind just started to understand. Yeah, that makes so much sense that to do better marketing, I could then increase my writing. 
So to improve your thinking, which is marketing, do, do more writing. For me, that was really obvious after I made that connection. And then it made total sense to say, hey, if someone asks me, how can I do better marketing? I could give them a book. I could give them a keynote. I could give them my podcast, which I definitely would. But now I can tell them, write. Go and write daily for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever that is. That could be journaling, morning pages, uh, essays that you share online and get feedback. Regardless, writing is a way to refine your thoughts because if I ask you what is marketing, you could babble on for a bit and think you've maybe answered coherently, but if you had to write an answer of what is marketing, how well could you do that? And if it's not too well, then I'm just going to make the assumption that you're thinking your grasp around marketing is also quite loose because when put to the test writing to think, you can't actually do that well. And there's many areas, if I had to go write about biology, which I did in college, I didn't do well because that wasn't something that I was really good at. But writing, if I kept writing around biology, I would eventually understand the concept. So that is the power of writing, is the more you do it, the more you understand something. So to do better marketing, write about marketing, things you're seeing, things you're observing, where you think it's going, all of that. Main idea number two is that the written word is essentially fodder for everything in marketing. Everything in marketing starts with either a word, a concept, a phrase. Somebody said this, they felt that, which is put into words. Currency in marketing is attention and how you produce that currency is through material like the written word, whether that be an audio, podcast, whatever that may be, you have to have some sort of words that then feed into it. This podcast is a prime this episode is a prime example. I didn't just turn on the mic and start talking about this. I went first and outlined it, which is writing. It's thinking. How do I how do I present this in a logical order? What's the plot points if I'm thinking of this as a story? And then I took the next step to say, let me actually go write a bit about this. Let me spend 45, an hour, hour and a half writing 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 words on this just to kind of get the wheels turning so I understand a little bit better. Because again, I had this thought in the shower four weeks ago. Maybe not that soon or it wasn't actually in the shower, but still I haven't had this connection point for too long, so I need to write it. So this episode is literally a meta point for the argument that to do better content, to make this episode better than it could have been, or to make it not as worse as it could have been, as bad as it could have been, I I, ri- I wrote, I did the writing, which then helped the marketing, the product to be better. So for me, it's so obvious that we have this cycle of observe, writing, learning, improve, and you kind of just keep this flywheel up that your ability to generate fodder, the written word, things, concepts, really just comes from this trained skill. I heard a while ago someone talking about coding that every line of code you do, you make the next line of code cheaper because now it's easier to do it. The same is true with writing and that made so much sense to me that every time you write, you lower the cost to do the next written thing. So, hey, can you quickly write this PR uh, news release? Hey, can you quickly write this landing page? It becomes easier to do it. You have less fear, but not only that, you write better too. So I think that's a huge positive to writing frequently and writing daily is you lower the cost to keep doing it and you improve the output. The outcome, the thing gets far better than it would have been if you only wrote once in your life, but if you write 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Uh, times. To not toot my own horn, I use a software called Grammarly. I've been using it since 2019, so it'd be at the recording of this podcast around five years. I've written or analyzed 20.8 million words through that. Now, a lot of those might have been an article that someone's having me edit, so I didn't write that. So let's cut five, six million, right? Still 15, 14, 16 million words for those five years. You do the math, that's three million or so words a year. If you don't improve your thinking and your output, your writing by doing that much, um, nothing's going to fix it. And I have exponentially improved how I write, how I think from 2019 to today in writing. Reading is yes, a component, but writing is a huge point to that. 
as all good essays should have, I want to take the contrarian point of view. I want to take the point of view that writing is useless, that writing, doing more of writing won't actually help you. The first nugget off that that I can think of is that really everything started as oral stories. If you think of the Bible, if you think of people way back in time before we could write or we had paper to write on, we had to tell stories orally. We had to say them. Nobody had them written down. It was all in our mind. Now, there's still word choice and all of that, but that is valid, that it actually begins with thinking. So really, I should be telling you to meditate, to contemplate, to do things that refine your thinking, your ability to hold stories, characters, things within your head to tell them better. Now, we don't live in 200 BC anymore, thank God. We're now in today where you can write things down so you can kind of have, again, this cycle between your writing, thinking, writing, thinking, and you're improving it. So that would be kind of my take on it, that it, it's valid, that it really did start with the spoken word, but it was always these words or concepts that really can, that, that can be written down today that maybe was unable to then. So you wouldn't take a horse carriage to the mall today, right? So why don't we also write? Because we have the paper, we have digital means to constantly write and refine our thinking and even have others step into it. So that's point number one. Point number two is that marketing is so much more complex than just thinking. You need to understand platforms. You need to understand marketing mental models. You need to understand... Yes, that's true. I agree. But when a new marketer is stepping up to the plate or somebody who's trying to get into marketing... I couldn't see a better way to not help them than to give them all of that, than to just essentially dump a tray of junk on them. I'm trying to give signal through the noise to say, okay, yes, you could learn TikTok. You could learn all of these platforms, but maybe just start out with writing daily. I know, crazy idea, but come back to me in two one, three months, and tell me if you're not thinking better about the things you're working on at work. A prime example of this could be is if you're trying to help a company with SEO, literally write the guide to how you're going to help them, what would be the KPIs, what would be your tactics, write all of it out. Because wait a minute, what is a strategy? It is literally, a marketing strategy is literally just tons of thought put into words on a page, which then is executed by people. Help me out here and how does that not make sense to improve the strategy? You have to improve the thinking, the words, the writing. So write more. I'm not going to go in any other directions because honestly, you can tell I'm passionate for writing, but I just wanted to make the case that I see that there is other ways to look at how to improve marketing, that sometimes you need data analytics, all of that. Yes, I get it. But if you just do a bit more writing and you get better at thinking about marketing, I can't help but imagine you will improve your ability to do marketing. To wrap this episode up, the lesson is to do more writing. Write more and write more often. However that is for you, do that. That could be journaling. That could be morning pages. That could be writing into a notebook. That could be online. That could be sharing it. That could be never sharing it. However it works for you, do it for six weeks, do it for two months, do it for a set up period of time, come back to me, jordano at hey.com, give me an email and say, hey dude, this didn't work, you owe me whatever you want, $20 max, but that could be a Starbucks ca a card, that could be a Taco Bell card, whatever your dirty pleasure is, you let me buy it for you if it doesn't work. That's a challenge that I wanna put on you because I am so passionate that writing will help you do better marketing. And that is what this podcast is for. This episode is sponsored by Poppy. Just kidding. This is my first time ever drinking one grape. Extremely good. Five grams of sugar. Jeez, this could, this could just be a commercial. Same for the cat. Let it, let us hear it. Thank you for making it this far. This is all I have for today's episode. I hope you take my challenge to heart and you go and write more because I truly want to help you and I become better marketers by thinking better about marketing. And this is the end of the podcast. If you listen to last episode's outro, I talked about how I'm on TikTok. Are you on TikTok? I really would love to connect. I'm new to the platform. I'm giving it my all, but I have so much to learn. So if you're on there, if you've been on there, or you just want to connect, Hit me up, Jordan period Ogren, I think, not exactly sure. Look up on marketing, you'll find me. I'm on there putting stuff out, trying to learn, trying to grow, and I hope the same for you. 
Bad news, good news. I shared last week too. Bad news. We're coming to the end of the season. We have two more episodes. Next episode is a friendly guest from the state of Wisconsin, City Green Bay. We started season three with Green Bay. We're going to finish it with Green Bay. That's where I'm from if you don't know yet. So we have that and then we have a final outro episode where I kind of paint the future because there's a lot of cool stuff going on and a really, really cool idea concept I'm developing that I want to share with you because I'd love to have maybe some of you on here to share some of your thoughts on marketing with this new show idea, but I don't want to share too much. So again, thank you for making it this far. I'm so grateful you're listening. You're here with us. Again, we're just starting. This is only the beginning. I got, I shared some bad news. I got good news babies on the way. Coming in November, really, really excited, extremely terrified too. But there's just so much on the horizon that I want you to be here for it. And I want you to get better through it. That's really what the goal of this podcast is, is to bring you progress in how you think about marketing. Sorry, I could go on and on. Dinner's ready upstairs. I'm getting pulled out. I'm in the dungeon. Got to shut it down. Thank you so much for coming along. And if you have any ideas on how I can make this better, more valuable for me, for you, to help me help you please email me jordano at hey.com. I'd love to connect to see how I can make this podcast more beneficial for you. Thank you again for making it this far. Have a great rest of your week.